guys, Aaron Judge, uh, will he eclipse the 60 home run threshold? So the last, uh, the, the highest single season home run total in the last 20 years is his teammate, John Carlos Stanton, had 59 in 2017. Judge has got 44 right now. Uh, projections say he'll hit 63 home runs, which is a new club record. And he's also projected to have 139 RBIs and 132 runs, which if he did that, good God. Uh, but do you think that he'll eclipse the 60 home run threshold with, I don't know how many games it's left, like 50-ish? I don't know. What do you think? I think he's gonna. Yeah. That's such a bold statement, dude. 60 homers is so many. Like, But, yeah, he needs. he's at 44, and there's like 50 games left, and he's liable to just – I mean, it was only a few weeks ago where literally I feel like every time – or right after the All-Star – game i guess every time i looked it was like judge homers no if he hit another one and he hit another one it's just like holy shit man i mean obviously he's a large human but he's got a great swing and he plays in yankee stadium i think he's it's crazy i think he's gonna do it man my teammate here has 33 or 34 i feel like he has a home run every fucking game so 60 44 and then 60 is just like insanity but Man, I I think he's going to do it. What do you think? I don't know. I usually am on the mindset of that guys peter out around this time of year because it's August, and I think Adam Jones was on here talking about the dog days of August where it's like, you know, the back gets heavier and you get tired and everything hurts. So, I mean, he, like he, he's 6'7". He's a big guy. So, that you know, durability has obviously been a concern for him in his career. Uh, you're right. It does feel like every time, like, MLB Network would do a cut in, it's like, yeah, it's the first any or whatever. Let's see if Judge – yep, he hit a home run. So uh, he does it almost on command now, which is kind of cool. But I- I'm going to say he doesn't do it. I know that's a bummer, and I know that will, you know, not be great to, to hear, but I don't I don't know. I don't like it. 60's a lot, man. It's, it, it's very tough for me to say that he's going to do that, but I – but you you made a great point right there. If he stays healthy, which is a huge if he has so far this year, knock on wood for, for yep. Aaron Judge right now. If he stays healthy, I think he's gonna do it. That'd be cool. I hope he I hope he does. Yeah. I hope he does, because it'd be cool to see somebody do that. Yeah, you know, non steroid induced. Yeah, I mean like you know, McGuire and Sosa and, and Bonds and all that did that, but like you know, it'd be cool to see somebody in the age where you can't do that anymore. Obviously, the Roger Maris record is, is still out there. But, um, yeah, I, I think it would be cool. But the Yankees as a whole, though, have struggled big time. Uh, now they're tied with Houston for the best record in the AL. But on June 18th, the Yankees had a nine-game ga- nine lead over the Astros. Since then, their Yankees are 22-24, and 24, and the Astros are 31-15. and 15. And whenever they play each other, the Astros always win, it feels like. Uh, if you're a Yankees fan... Are are you nervous? I think so. I really do. Not they're going to be in the playoffs, but that's not what the Yankees are shooting for (laughs) in the playoffs. That's you know they're trying to win the whole thing. So, dude, the Astros got their their number. I I forget what the stats are, but they you know when the Astros went to New York and threw the combined no hitter, I I forget what the the record is, but yeah, the Astros own them so come playoff time that is a that is a problem especially if houston gets that one seed by the way they just i don't even like the astros i don't even understand they just win always it's amazing verlander i know it's crazy um on top of that the yankees missed out um luis castillo dominated them who they could see in a playoff series with the Mariners. Also, Matt Carpenter, who's been an absolute revelation in that lineup. I feel bad for him uh, breaking his foot. Yep. His back foot, that's so that's such a random foul ball to hit your back foot like that. That sucks. I'm with uh, his buddy over here, Jansen. Wait, they went to TCU together, and they, they work out together in the offseason. Like, this whole time, we've just been talking about, like, you know, how good he's been doing, how pumped he was for him, and all this stuff, and then that happened. So, oh, that that sucks. I feel bad for him, but that really hurts that lineup. Stan's been hurt a little bit again. There, t- it's just I saw <laughs> it was not a good game 
last night against the Mariners um, was the extra inning game where they kind of uh, IKF took it like a def- – it was like runner on – what was it, runner on second or third, and he took a defensive swing, oh oh, and then tried to bunt oh one. And it was like a fastball down the middle. And he pulled back, watched it for a strike. And then the third pitch, he it was runner on second. Hit it right at the pitcher. Whoever was on second, I can't remember who it was, was running the third. Yep. Get him in a rundown. Out. IKF tries to go to second <laughs> with, with, I believe, Judge and LeMahieu or LeMahieu and Judge on deck in the top of the 12th inning. Uh, gets double up trying to go to second out of the inning. Mariners walk it off <laughs> in the bottom. Of the, I saw like John Boy is like, "What are we doing?" It's, but uh, yeah, it's it hasn't it. it they trade Jordan Montgomery first game he pitches for the Cardinals, shoves <laughs> shoves against the Yankees. Like that, that, that's just like bad coincidence, luck right there. Frankie Montes doesn't have a great debut. I don't know, man, but it's just I feel like the pressure starts mounting big time in New York right around, right around now. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they finish. 